subscribe right now. Oh, girl! I believe it! I believe it! I believe it! Lyrica, 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 whatever your damn name is. Girl, honey, let's talk about it. Y'all know, y'all see the headlines. They says quality control P, the one that be hanging with the city girls. Girl, you know that whole gang is bad over there. Them city girls, all that. Uh, girl, I listen to their music because I do like the music. You want to know who I listen to, girl? You'll be surprised to know. Okay, so let me tell y'all. My favorite album, I know you're going to be shocked, is Taylor Swift, Reputation. When I tell y'all, listen to the album every week. I love the album. And I like me some Selena Gomez. But then I listen to a lot of rap. Well, I don't listen to a lot of rap. I do like the City Girls. I was listening to them today. And I like listening to the City Girls. Who else I like listening to? Shit, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> those three was people that I listened to today, for sure. You know, but anyway, let's get back to here. Um, I really don't listen to any male rappers. I don't know. They just don't do nothing for me. But um, I do listen to the city girls and how they talk about, you know, they just want money from a man and how they talk about sleeping with all these women's husbands and taking these women's husbands from their husbands and stuff like that. You know, that's what they represent. That's their music, right? And um, not having sexual situations for free. They telling y'all to get paid, okay? And you know what? How do I feel about them getting, they telling y'all to get y'all money? I get tired of these being, they always listen. They get comfortable, then they ask for a picture. Well, I want a body picture. Can I get a more? How many damn body pictures you want? You know what? I'm going to take City Girls advice. Listen, it's, I'm going to charge, okay? <laughs> yeah, my picture charge. Listen, I'm like, listen, why don't you go find you a porn star out here? I find you a working girl. You know, you pay her service, and you know, and y'all good, because that, that's what y'all want anyway. You know what I mean? You you want a, a freak hoe, and I ain't freak. I tell you real quick, I ain't freaking. And then they want to ask you, do you party? I don't party, because you know the party mean the sugar boogers, okay? Listen, I'm out my league, okay? <laughs> I need to go to church, okay? Maybe them church men don't ask for, are you do you party? And ask for all these damn body pictures, okay? But anyway, I don't know how I got on that. I just, it just, I guess something I just wanted to get out. But anyway, it says, um, so P. Thompson um, put the pause on her while she was pregnant with his child. Mm. Now, I didn't even know. See, I don't know who, li listen, do I know, Lyra, whoever her name is, I don't even know her. I think she's just an Instagram model. She may do more. Please forgive me. I just don't know. That P-Man, he goes, he's a producer or something, right? And he, I mean, shit. He's not that all that to the eye, so I guess he had the money or whatever. But the reason why I say I'm not surprised was because um, that young Miami, she deals with a man that don't mind putting a pause on her. And um, when you think about, isn't P over the city girls? And he pushes that narrative about women sleeping with you know other people's husbands or whatever even though i think the city girls were already rapping about that but you know he wanted to push that narrative so you know i won't be surprised if he like putting them paws on women while they even pregnant and he dog them out you know that ain't surprising to me what y'all think about that y'all think she's lying or you think she's telling the truth i think she's telling the truth so anyway, let's go here. They say Aaliyah uh, <laughs> isn't here for the baby daddy quality control music CEO P. She claims he put them paws on her um, and regularly while she was pregnant with his child. And see, that's another thing. I'm sorry to get beside myself. Y'all listen. Y'all got to stop taking these Instagrams and these YouTubers and everything for face value because it ain't shit by face value. They get on here. They look good all the time. But their life is not good all the time. And they be going through stuff. They be going through some drama. But they will not tell you about that. And they want to come out here and act like everything is nice and clean. And, you know... But they be going through hell, okay? And then they, they, listen, I know some people 
they going through so much right now, but they will repost some good looking pictures to them. Like they going through the sh everything is good. You know? Shit, it had me confused. You know what I mean? <laughs> Listen, I'm like, well, why can't you do this? And why can't you do that? You know what I'm saying? And she like, I'm not feeling good. I'm like, I can't tell. You always posting. You posting here and you there. And you in Jamaica. And you in France. Come to find out, this mother sucker sitting at home ain't feeling good, girl. But she's posting all this like she's in all these places to keep up with social media or keep up with something. But she was not, she, she just re, re, don't you know how you take a picture and then it may be six months ago and you just repost it. You know, they, they take them down and then they repost some shit. So I'm like, wow, you know, woo. Anyway, so, um, damn, I'm getting real beside myself in this video. Please forgive me. She claims uh, he put the pause on her regularly while she was pregnant. Le Le she wants uh, him to run $15 million, okay, um, million for her injuries, all right? Now, am I mad that she wants that $15 million? I'm not, because that's what he promotes. And what he pushes, he's a producer, or whatever, the city girls. And they have that same mentality of getting all this money from these men. So, shit, you, you reap what you sow, right? This is what he put into the world as far as pushing these city girls. And like I said, I listen to it. Ain't no, it, it may be something wrong to the message. But um, I guess that's the... Re I don't know. I know it's bad. But I do listen to it. I... I, I I love to hear the stories, I ain't gonna lie. But in, anyway, I'm not pushing it either. I'm not pr telling y'all to go listen to it or whatever, you know? But um, <laughs> anyway, uh, they want that money, period. So in the legal docs obtained by the site, um, Lyra uh, talks about five X incidents where P put his hands on her. And I bet you them city girls ain't gonna leave either, is they? These girls still gonna work with uh, P, you know, because they don't stick together. We don't have unity. You know what I'm saying? We don't have unity. All right. Now, if P would have put his hands on an LGBT, listen, all people in the LGBT that's working on him, they be like, peace, I'm out of here. No peace, you know what I mean? But he put his hands on a black woman. You still gonna have black women working for you. You still, you know, you dog, it, it, you gotta have some unity. You know what I'm saying? Some unity, you know? Stop putting that dollar before. Well, shit, you do what you wanna do because right now everybody's individual. We talk to talk about being unified, but I don't know shit. You know, I'm just leaving it up to Beaver. So she claims the pun, ooh. She claims the paws in her face threw her to the ground, began, you know, putting them paws on her throat and um, putting them paws in her head so many times she developed knots, okay? And she looked like she's a gorgeous woman. I mean, I guess each looks as own. Maybe that's not the best picture of her, I'm sure, because I think I've seen some better pictures of her. But, um... You know, like I said before, we have this idea. Oh, she too good looking to be putting up with that. I can't believe you fine, girl. You don't got to put up. I can't. I can't stand that ideal of thinking that people is fine, that they so intelligent or people is fine. That's all it is. It's looks. Okay? Looks don't have. I don't. Shit. <laughs> with these looks, it look like it, it comes with a whole bunch of curses. Okay, it comes with a whole bunch of pressure, you know, and sometimes it can come with a lot of insecurities, you know what I'm saying? Shit, and I guess, you know what, I'm just, I'm sorry y'all, I'm out of it right now, because I just want to talk about anything else but what I'm supposed to read about. So, uh, Glamour claims P then ripped her ring off her finger, dislocating her finger. And the other attack, she claims that he, um, putting a pause on her and choked her. Uh, she says in August 2018, do you got any pictures? See how I stop? <laughs> and I just talk. It, I, I, it's a habit. I hope you took some pictures. <laughs> Listen, if that man would have put some pause on me, First of all, I wouldn't be staying in there. But since you decide to stay, 
I think you should have took some pictures and some videos. Look what this man just did to me. This is such a documented. Hello? Shoot. I would have documented. I would have recorded it while he was in the act. Hello? Something? Shoot. I don't understand how you could still be up in there kissing on some man that just got finished putting his hands on you. But you know, everybody is different. And I know that that's just my perspective and everybody have a different perspective and you don't know what she had to do in her childhood or how she was raised you know maybe she was raised that that type of mentality and thinking was um supposed to happen and it's okay so i'm not going to judge her you know because we all are different we all have, have different mental and um different perspectives you know but it doesn't make it right that what he did, what he did, even if she did stay, to me, it doesn't make it right. I still blame him. And that's how I feel about it. So anyway, uh, just two weeks later, damn, did I miss a part? After uh, one alleged uh, hit down, he tried to make things right by buying her a 50K SUV. That's it. 50K. That's it. Boy, bye. I want a home that costs a half a million, all paid in my name, okay? With a, another half a million um, cash in my name in my bank account. 50K? Lyra or whoever you is, don't can't you afford that this man being an Instagram model? Shit, you mess with going out here and um, you know, be a working girl. You know, on the internet, you have a, you get more money, and at least the men will treat you right. They ain't gonna put no paws on you. You know, shit. I mean, you. I, I, I mean, I think you know what? He already treating you like a hoe. You know what I mean? He always treating you like he don't care about you. He he really don't care about you for real. You girl, you was nothing but a, a trophy to him. Okay. That was it. You just a trophy. And he got his damn nerve, okay? Don't he got his nerve with that goddamn, you know what? <laughs> I ain't going to say that. But he got some nerves. He really do. He really got some nerves, okay? See, they, they get, listen, uh, he was probably always like this. Probably when he was broke, he was like this, though. But um, two weeks later, um, Lyra, um, alleged P broke the drive side window on the same SUV during the, um, altercation and then took the vehicle and changed the title out of her name into his own. She says a week later he paid her 50K not to call the cop. What the hell? Lyrica, is you all right? <laughs> I think she been taking too much of the sugar bookers. Now listen, I know I'm not the most intelligent. I may not be the most educated, okay? I don't got all these master degrees, and you know, I may not spell the best or read the best, but I got good common sense not to be in this bullshit. All right, but like I said, I'm not judging her. You know, I don't know what that girl is going through and how she feels, but of course, it does seem like she feels that, you know, her looks and her body, it does empower her. But shit, to empower you, that's not powerful to be in a relationship with a man owning you and putting your hands on. And you got to ask, can you please buy me this? Can you? And you don't have... What the hell? I don't... You Like I said, everybody got... Can we have... You know what I wish? You know what I wish? I wish we could have, like, don't you know how you have church on Sundays? I wish it was, like, establishments, you know, for black women to empower, you know, each other or just women to empower. You know what I'm saying? Like, you go to the place and, you know, all you hear, you know, women speakers, just like you got the pastors. You got the women speakers and it, they just motivate you and inspire you. And then within that organization, they have different uh, departments. Like if you're dealing with domestic violence or if you're dealing with certain things in your past, they have counselors set up to help their members. You know what I mean? And if it was going around all United States or all the world... Or you can go into this place, this building or this home or whatever they want to call it, you know, where you can get motivation weekly, you know, twice a week if you wanted to. 
And um, I think it would be very helpful, you know? I really do. And um, l- let's leave the cussing alone, even though, you know, that cussing is offensive to people. Let's leave it alone. But anyway, um, that's all I got to say about this. So I guess we'll look at some comments and let them know what y'all think about this. And I'm out. And I'm sorry that I kept on interrupting and stuff. I got a bad habit. <laughs>